Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? We are uh, getting started. Sorry, I'm about six minutes behind this morning for all y'all who uh, who have been jumping on when I jump on. Cool thing. I don't know if you guys have heard of this book, but uh, I've, I've looked through this book before, but I'm actually legit reading this book now. Um, so I picked it up yesterday. Really, really, really good stuff. So if you haven't read Inked by Jeb Blout, um, it's not so much on sales as it is negotiation. So, um, and the, you know, for those of you who are, you know, new to it and aren't super familiar, like the negotiation is when you get down to the wire, right? When you get down to the point where you're getting ready to sign a contract and you're working out the details, what are you asking? What are you not? When they've decided, Hey, I do want to sell. I do want to go that route. How do you, how do you get from, you're the guy I want to use to sign deal, right? Um, that's this and, uh, a really cool spot in this before I get started. Um, he talks about how negotiation is about emotional management, your emotions, right? You start beating. I've talked about this before. You start getting sweaty. You start freaking out. You got to maintain the same tone, the same, you know, just that same cool sense all the way through. So, all right. Um, we're going to jump in this morning. I do have a follow up that I need to, to jump into a contract that's out. So I'm going to jump into the follow up first. And then I'm going to jump into uh, the, the leads. I also had one of you guys. Uh, that I touched base with actually gave me a bunch of um, uh, in San Antonio, Texas, gave me a bunch of leads. And so I might be calling through those this morning as well. So um, so I'm going to follow up on the contract. This is the guy I spoke to yesterday and and the day before yesterday. So um, we've talked to him a couple times. I sent it. They looked at it. I just wanted to follow up and ask them kind of where they were at. So it is... It's Jewett Street. And sorry if I've been like a little, I kind of woke up today with a headache and not feeling the greatest. So uh, I apologize if my voice is kind of kind of crazy. So, all right. Jump in. But otherwise, if you guys haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. He's got another one called Objections. That's just super, super good. Um, highly recommend. So especially when you're talking to people and going through things Hello. and hey is this kevin yes hey kevin it's ronald walker i was just touching base with you about that uh that paperwork i sent out yesterday yeah we looked at it read it um we'll wife and i will finish addressing it this evening yeah no problem no problem is there any concerns that you guys have or uh anything like that are you um, feeling good or not feeling good about it i don't believe so i'm not sure um we read it all. Okay. Um, it sounds like the only thing we have to do is make sure it taxes are current. That is correct. Yeah. So as long as there's not a lien or anything on the property, uh, yeah, there's no and there. what'll happen is even if the taxes aren't current at the moment, what you can do is the title company will actually pull the taxes and then they'll prorate whatever, whatever amount is from, you know, from whatever's due if, if we close and they're not current. So, but that's the only well, amount. I, that's the only yeah, amount that I think would come out. Taxes came in and they're being paid as we speak. Oh, okay, cool. So how much are how much are the taxes per year on that I, deal? I've never paid much attention to that. It's not very much. Right. I was just curious. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, um, we own so many pieces of property and in the past that um, I never paid much attention. My wife's an accountant, she deals with all that. <laughs> right. Kind of those so, those details kind of split hairs if you're if you don't love it. Right. I totally understand that. I uh, I deal with that too. I'm like, look, those details are crazy. So I understand. Yeah. Um so you guys are gonna look at it tonight. Do you do you think you feel good about it or do you not? Because we kind of we kind of you know since we talked about it, I set that money aside for for this. I just wanted to gauge, make sure you guys were you know if if you guys aren't um, thinking about it, that's totally okay. I just you know I, just to kind of give me an we, idea. We are we are thinking about it. Um, I I don't I guess I don't really know. My wife is kind of hard to read on it for a minute. Okay. She said that we would finish our discussion this evening. Okay. 
I, I said I didn't want to wait too long because I didn't want the offer to come off the table. Right. And so she said, yeah, we will address it and get it sorted out. Cool. That sounds good, man. Do you want me to give you a call in the morning or like, how would you like me to fuck? I don't, I don't want to be a pest, right? Like I don't, I don't I like think, being that guy. Well, let, let me, I tell you what, if, if we, well, one of two things, we'll, we'll accept, sign, and you'll get the copy back. Okay. Or we will not accept. And at that point, I can call you. That sounds perfect. Okay. I think that sounds perfect. All right. Because, um, yeah, in fairness, you deserve an answer either way we go. Yeah, and either way is totally cool, man. I just uh, I just don't want to be that guy. You know, I don't want to be the guy who's, like, calling you a bunch of times and being the – I don't like being that guy. So either way is totally cool. Yeah. Um, just uh just let me know one way or another and if there are like concerns or like little factors you know or it's something that comes up like little stuff like that we can uh you know we can talk about and address but other than that you know we've uh we've set it uh we've set about aside the uh the money to buy that right now since we put a contract out and so just uh just let me know one way or another i'll, I'll do that all right kevin you're the man hey i hope you have a good day man i i hope uh, i hope it's uh going well so far and until then just uh just let me know yeah you too all right have I'll a good one later. bye yep bye so that deal so that one we are sorry i just got a message as soon as i got off the phone guys so it says we had six um yeah so that deal that's the one i've been talking to the last two days um we sent the contract out for 13.5 it looks like um so that one that one's a pretty should be a pretty solid deal um a little piece of property it's worth actually a lot. So I'm, I'm excited for how much it's worth. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see if they come in. There's not much you can do, you know, as just ask them questions, try to cut through it. The guy yesterday said it gets complicated when you do the follow-up, just ask them for what you want, right? That's, that's all you can do is just ask them and give them the opportunity to say no. And if they say no, Hey, you've done everything you can and you can just follow up. So, um, um let's see i had another one i needed to follow up with let me see uh this all right so that guy i need to follow up not quite this morning he wanted me to follow up with later today so let me see what i want to do I didn't plan this out this morning. I've been kind of sluggish since I've been not feeling so well. So, um, so we had that one. I'm going to call this guy. This guy I also have a contract out on. Um, his name's Mark. His email address was Old Mark Rules, which is kind of cool. But let's call this guy. Um, if you guys haven't been watching, I've been going live on my Facebook channel. Um, I'm on YouTube as well and uh, on a couple different spots. So if you guys do that, just uh, just let me know. This is another one we have a, we have a contract out on. Um, I'm just gonna follow up with him and see kind of where he's at. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Four, zero, seven, four, zero, nine, four, one, one, nine is not available at the tone please record your message when you've finished recording you may hang up or press one for more options to leave a callback number press five mark my man this is ronald walker i was calling you about your property in washington we discussed it a couple of days ago and came to an agreement on possibly buying it but i haven't heard from you i'm uh, i'm assuming you decided to go a different way and something came up and you know you've just been busy and things like that um i'll give you a call later on this afternoon i know that the things are happening i hope uh, i hope everything's all right but you can reach me back at this number 
616-236-4387. Again, 616-236-4387. Um, either way, man, I'd love to hear what you're thinking and we can uh, we can decide, hey, we, we can kill the deal or we can move forward. So I appreciate it. Have a good day. All right. Get that done. Let me jump into the dialer. I'll jump into the dialer since uh, so you guys can hear some more calls, you know, quicker. And then after that, I do have that JV guy. He sent me a, a number of his leads, his dead leads. And so I think I think that stuff's good, right? Like jumping into the dead leads and and you guys can see just you know just reapproaching it. Just how do you how do you come up and how do you deal with that? So. Um, Apart from that, how are you guys doing? Anybody got any questions? Anybody want something to some me to go over something? You know, I've, I, I was thinking this morning about training salespeople, which has not been, honestly, I haven't done a great job. Uh, I've had a lot of salespeople. I've had a lot of salespeople fall off. Um, hello? He hung up. Um, I've had a lot of salespeople come off, but just like this, just like you guys hearing me do things live, like I think there's there's five things that I've heard that really help train salespeople. One, just listening to calls, right? Listening how you talk, listening the real engagement. Is this Albert? Uh, call me back a little later. Ah, it's a voicemail. Thank you. Um, listen to real calls, right? The next one is listening to recorded calls, ones that aren't live, but are that are recorded. They don't have the same effect. And I think it's more psychological than anything else, but there's something about it being live where it's like, dude, this is happening right now. Right. Um, but recorded calls allows people to listen to it, engage it, but they're not like, as you're learning, you're not as, as engaged. Um, the third thing is doing like, Hey, is this, Man, getting a lot of voicemails. I don't know why it's not automatically dropping the voicemail. Um, is like some type of sales training program, right? Being able to do sales training from me to you directly, right? Like me teaching you directly what that looks like. Uh, I think then you just going off and, and doing it and, uh, and doing that. And I can't remember the last one. I'll have to find it. But um, being able to listen to how that call happens. And that's why we're doing that right now. And, and daily is while I'm doing it, you guys can listen, right? You guys can listen. You guys can figure out, hey, this is how to talk. This is how to ask questions. This is how to get, dig a little bit deeper. That's how I've learned, right? Is listening to people, reading books, uh, synthesizing information and really trying to figure out, okay, what are the right questions to ask in this? And let's let's be straight, bro. There, there's a lot of people out there doing sales training and sales things. And I don't think there's one magic formula. Even if I was to come out with a with a, a sales script, there's not one magic formula to this stuff, right? Like there are better questions and questions that are not so good. There are styles. I think um, Harvard Business Review talks about the different styles of sales and some styles that are better than others. And it's just a matter of finding, okay, what's my style? How do I approach sales? And what are some of the best questions to ask to kind of go through this conversation? Um, uh, sorry, I got another message. And go through this conversation um, because really we need to know what we want, right? At the end of the deal, we want a property under contract. We don't just want a property under contract. We want a property under contract that will close with an end buyer. And if uh, in this game, if you can keep going through that and not be afraid of asking for what you want, I think a lot of us are scared, especially initially. I know I was. I was scared of asking somebody why they would take, you know, seventy five thousand for a hundred and forty five thousand dollar house. It's like, why would anybody do that? And the more you get into it, the more you realize people are willing and, and have life situations. That stuff is going God, on. Sorry, I can't take a call right now. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, let me drop a voicemail. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Wait to the beat. There we go. Um, 
sorry, it's going through. Nobody's answering. It's made 10 calls already. So um, just keep that in mind as you guys are doing this, right? Um, Hello. Hey, is this Shirley? Yes. Hey, Shirley, this is Ronald Walker. I was calling you about your property on Elizabeth Street in Kalamazoo. Yes. Um, do you want to sell that property? I did, yes. You did sell it or you did want to sell it? I would love to sell it. Oh, nice. Very cool. How much are you asking for it? 50000 50 Do you mind telling me about yes. it? My name's Ronald Walker, by the way. My name's Ronald Walker. I was, uh, I'm reaching out. I'm a, I'm a local investor. So um, tell me about the property. Well, right now I'm in the bank. I'm going to have to call you back. Okay. When uh, Do you want to call me back when you're done or do you want to call back a little bit later? It'll be a little bit later. All right. I'll give you a call back. All right. Sounds okay, good. I'll... I have your phone number on my phone. Yeah, this Thank is you. my cell phone number. So just uh, if uh, you can call me or if, if it doesn't come through, I'm on the other line. Just send me a text. Okay. Thank All right. you. You're amazing, Shirley. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Let's see. Literally no information came up on that lead. That's not good. Um, let me just make sure my dialer is set up right. I'll put a note. 50000 I have no idea what that property is worth. Um, surely. She's in the bank. I'm going to go hot. Um, she puts it in the bank. So if I don't hear back, I'll just call her back you know, about an hour or so. I'll, I'll probably call her back during this call. So um, let's go back. Um, so I don't remember what I was talking about, guys. I got, got sidetracked. But, um, you know, I, another huge part about this is even being sick, like I am right now, that, like part of it is performing. Part of it's action. Um, the people who succeed in this, they succeed for different reasons meaning that they have different whys behind what they're doing. But the actions are all very similar. If you go to like real estate disruptors or you go to bigger pockets and you listen to these podcasts and you listen to these guys and you listen to what they're asking and what they're saying and, and their stories, a huge part of their story is, is getting over the mental block of, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> and I need to start doing it or I didn't track numbers and I needed to start tracking numbers. I didn't do the work to make sure people were performing at their level. And I started doing that. And what you'll find is a lot of people have the same habits, right? Um, they just did the work. And so a part of it is just sitting down, doing the work, finding your style in sales, finding your style in these acquisitions and just working it. Um, because that's a that's a huge part of the game is just working it. Let me hold on. I got a message. Hello. Hey, is this Chad? Yeah. Hey, Chad. This is Ronald Walker. I was calling about your property in Grand Haven on one one hundred twelfth. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted How to sell that. Doing? I'm doing good, man. Do you want to sell that? Good. Been thinking about it. I think um, you spoke to my. I think you spoke to my assistant the other day about it. Oh, I did. I think so. You might, maybe not. Well, I, I got, I got, I got dad. a few notes. I think in you here. called my dad. Oh, okay. It's under my dad's name. Yeah. Um, when I went through my divorce, I just put everything in his name right then. Okay. So that, I got to get. I got to do a quick, quick, uh, quick deed. To switch it over to my name and i haven't done it I, I owned it for you know since way back when i just never i just we just let it go all the stuff comes to my house for it but. right 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 i do actually remember that i did speak to your dad probably i think about yeah, a week he's ago down in, yeah he's down in florida okay cool so, so yeah. tell me so what do you want for the property if you were to sell it do you have you worked with a real estate agent or do you know what it's worth or i haven't i haven't worked with any agents or anything like that um I know that we, we've been kicking around prices. I don't really have a set price yet. I know it's a two and a two and a half acres. I think. Okay. Um, it's been it's been perked once already. It'd have to be done again. 
Okay. Um, it has gas out there. Yep. Natural gas, and it has electric. Already run to the property. You just have to run it from the poles and where it ends to the house or, yep. or whatever you built out there. Yep. I'm still thinking about building. I was looking into it. Um, I, I rent right now in Grand Haven, and that was just something I've always wanted to do is build again, but I don't know if I'm ready to do it yet. So um, let me uh, take down your number, and I'm going to have to call you back on, like, at a price. Yeah, um, no, that's fine. Let me uh, – that's totally good. You got a pencil and paper, and before I let you go, I got two I questions for a, you. It just came up on my phone if this was the number to reach you on. Yeah. Okay, and your name is what? My name is Ronald Walker. Ron Walker. Yes, sir. That's me. Okay. So before I let you go, was there ever a house on it, or has it always just been vacant? Has it always no? Just been vacant? It was. It had a trailer on it. Okay. Back in, back in way back when, I think it burnt down, or I got it just dilapidated, and they you know took it out in pieces. So um, I know that like the adjacent property, I know the guy owns the uh, next 40 acres. Okay. And I think that he plans on taking some sand out of there and putting houses around like a pond or something. Yeah. But but way down the road, that's a uh, Ed DeYoung is the guy that owns all that. Yeah. And, uh, and I think they're going to improve the drive out. That, you know, when he does that, he's going to be responsible for improving the road the drive out there that'd be sweet but yeah um, so i'm so i'm looking take a, take a drive out there and look at it if you like yeah um, i i, I, I like it. i was i was looking at some of the pictures here they got some pictures online with it um you know with like that the little dirt road and such out there yeah um i am yep. looking so so i'm looking right now i'm basically i'm calling around because i really want to buy something before christmas so we can start a project early next year is that Okay. something you'd be are you open to wanting to do it within that time frame or are you looking to push it out i mean it, i obviously i called you out of nowhere so you know right. i'm just trying yeah. to see i'm i'm a I, I i came across this phrase i'm a tiger in the woods right now so i'm yeah, uh, no, i'm well, looking for something everything is going so fast so you know if you do have if i did put it up for sale i'm sure that you wouldn't be the first person the only person calling so you're you're on top of things by just call cold calling so so are you not are you I'm assuming you're not wanting to do it then just uh you're not wanting to no, do that fast. I'm a, no I'm yeah this is my first uh, you're my first call ever and that's so you're 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 forcing my hand a little bit which is good that's all I right sometimes I have a push well I don't want to force it if you don't want to do it that's totally cool I don't want you to feel forced no, I'm just I'm interested a, I've been thinking about it so that's okay cool um you're not um but I like I said if someone if I put it up for sale you wouldn't be the only one calling me and I'd if you are interested, let me talk to my my kids. You know, they're older now, and I want to know what they want to do. So let me call you back probably either tonight or tomorrow. All right, yeah. Uh, tonight I'm tied up, so if we could shoot, okay. if we could okay. shoot for tomorrow, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to hound you, right? So I, I don't want to just call right, you over yeah, and over yeah, again. So, um, and are you Chad? Yes, I'm Chad. All right, cool. All right, I'll put your number in here. Um, that way I, I can see it. So let's plan on doing tomorrow. And Chad, dude, right, seriously, if 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 you don't want dude, just tell me. I don't want to be the guy who's just falling nope. off and being like, oh man. Hey, you know, I've been I've been thinking about it for five years. So let's <laughs> let's tr let's turn that five years into two weeks. How about that? I'd love that. Exactly. Let's push it. <laughs> yeah, let's my go. man. I like it. Well, hey, um, so the next step, I'm planning on talking to you tomorrow. You're going to give me a buzz. Tell me one way or another. I don't want to hound you. Yeah, if it I is, I'll just assume you you went to uh, a no-go. Um, uh, no. Ron Walker, right? That's correct, my man. That's correct. All right. I'm going to write it down. I'm I'm working right now, so I don't have a pen on me. But okay. I'll, you want me to text I'll, you? I'll, is this a cell phone? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. All right. I'll text you here as soon as we get off, and then uh, right. we can do that. You get back to work, man. Enjoy the day. Stay warm out there. I know it's been cold the last couple of days. You bet. Thanks, Ron. All right. Thanks, Chad. Bye. All right. So real quick on that. Because especially when you're calling people out of nowhere like this, you catch them at weird times, right? He's at work. Sometimes they'll talk. Sometimes they won't. Um, don't try not to let them just get you off the phone, right? Like try not to let them just get you off the phone. 
hey, before you go, here's this, here's this phrase. I just said it to him. Before you go, let me ask you a question. And it kind of slows down. If you really want to try to slow him down, if you think you can, hey, before you let go, let me ask you two questions. Um, it sounded like he was really at work. So um, I'm sending him a text right now. Um, but then it'll slow you down because then they not only do they have to answer the question, but they know there's two more because a huge part of it is the, the expectation setting, right? Is they just don't want to be locked into being forced into something like, Hey, tell me no, but Hey, before I let you go, can I ask you two questions and then just honor that time, right? Honor those two questions to try to set you up for that next step. And so in that case, uh, it was like, Hey, before I let you go, let me ask you a question. Do you really want to sell or no? Right. It, Cause I'm trying to cut through the fluff. I don't want to call this guy. Like guys, I know that everyone here, like, I don't want to call this guy five times. Right. I hope you guys don't want to do that. Um, if they're not wanting to sell, why, why are we wasting our time? All right. I just moved him. Why are we wasting our time? Right. Like we want to talk to people who want to sell. What the heck is this? Yes, it needs to be sent to Casey. Um, I'll deal with that in a minute. Um, but being able to stop them and kind of interrupt that, that's what reframing is, right? When people talk about reframing, it's, hey, I got to go, I got to go, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. And if you stay in that frame, like they're going to lead it. But if you can break the frame, hey, before before I get off the phone, let me ask you a question. And it, it reframes, it's like, oh, this guy's serious. Oh, let me listen to this guy. Oh, this guy's not what I expected. And anything you can do to break that expectation is super key. If you sound like a salesman, you'll also notice when I'm talking, guys, I try and mirror and match their tone. I don't come, hey, man, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I do. Um, you know, they provoke that. But I don't come across that way initially because it it's a break in expectation from there. And they're like, oh, God. I don't want to talk to this guy. And if I feel that from them, like I'll be like, hey, I'm calling about your property. It's like, oh yeah. And they immediately drop. I usually call that out. <laughs> so I'll say so like, oh, it sounds like you. Is this calling? Hello? Can you hear me? I can't hear you, bro. We'll just keep moving. I don't know if you meant to add the answer it or not. Um, call it out. It's called the cold read. It's extremely empathetic and it it connects with somebody. Um, hey, is this Chris? This is Jacob. Oh, this is Jacob. Jacob, this is Ronald Walker. I was calling about a property on Cortland. Uh, you have the wrong number. I have the wrong. Do you know a Chris Gold? No, sir. All right. I apologize, man. Thank you. Yeah, but bye. All right. That is gold. Let me update that real quick. Um, but it's called a cold read. And a cold read is so powerful because it's it's an empathetic move. Gosh, we've connected with that guy before. Like, we have notes from a conversation. Yeah. Um, let's go. Not interested. Sorry, guys. Part of doing this live is me updating. Not interested. Sequence. Start. Um, but a cold read, the thing that's so powerful about it is is it's not about solving a problem or moving forward, but it's about connecting with how they feel emotionally, which creates a connection. Um, it's very similar when you're. Hello. Yeah. Is this Garnett? No, this is Jacob. So what the heck? I don't understand why it's calling you, bro. I don't, I don't, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. All right. Thanks. Yeah, but called the same guy twice that's super frustrating 
Let me see. Uh, all right, let's go back. Jacob again. Not interested. Um, it might it might be just the wrong thing. Follow up. Not interested. Start. Um, but it's like it's like when you're if you're trying to connect with your wife or husband, right? And they come in like, gosh, I freaking had a terrible day. It's not like, well, what, you know, you could be like, oh, well, what happened? And you're listening. But really what they want is, man, it sounds like you're really frustrated. Yeah, I am frustrated because of blank. Like they want an emotional connection, right? They want to feel, you want to feel connected to them and, and create, hey, I'm there in the moment. I feel what you feel. What's going on? right? That's exactly what you're doing when you do a cold read. Um, let me just make sure it's not calling that same dude. All right. Um, and it's so powerful because it's like, dude, it sounds like you don't want to talk to me. Well, I've talked to 17 people. Okay, cool. Well, do you want to sell or no? And it, and it, it cuts through the crap. Let's just put it that way. Like it just cuts through. Holy cow. There's a lot of comments. Sorry guys. I've not been, uh, paying attention. Uh, am I intentionally saying yeah and got it? Um, I like to say that over the phone because how do you get my follow-ups to remember me? Uh, how do I get my follow Dude, there's a lot of good questions here. Let me show this. How do I get my follow-ups to remember me? Do I intentionally say yeah or got it? Um, I'm going to do that second one. Do I intentionally say yes or got it? I, not really. I think it's good. Hello? Yeah, Hello? Is this Damon? Man, I can barely hear you. Are you outside? Uh, I'm actually working. Okay, I was calling about your pro. My name's Ronald Walker. I was calling about your property on Superior Street. Uh huh. Do you want to sell that property or no? Uh, if the price is right, I definitely will. Okay. You want me to touch base with you back a little bit later? Because I can, I can barely hear you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, please. All right. I'll call you back a little bit later. Thank you. Thanks, Damon. Bye. I'm not trying to talk over that. Um, so to answer your question, am I intentionally saying, yeah, I got it? Not really. But what I am doing is I'm encouraging them to talk, right? That, hey, I'm here, right? Because we're on the other side of the phone. So it's like, yeah, okay. That makes sense. I got it. And you're encouraging them to open up because as you... As you see, as soon as I talk, like one of the things people mention to me all the time is like, how do you get people to just divulge this information? One, I think it's because I cut directly to the point and then I open up, right? And I'll ask a question and then I'll ask, Hello? A, a, hey, is this Shannon? Hello? Is this Shannon? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. It's not okay. Shannon. Hey, Shannon. I, my name's Ronald Walker. I was calling about your property in Kentwood on Haywood Street. Um, this is not Shannon. Oh, this is not. I'm sorry. This is not. No, uh -uh. this is her mom. Okay. Shannon lives in, in, Shannon lives in Arizona. Oh, she does. Who owns the property on Haywood Street or Haywood Drive? It's Haywood, Haywood Drive. I do. Oh, you do? do you, I'm calling because I'd be interested in buying it. Do you want to sell that property or no? listing it in the spring yeah what you got well i'm an investor locally so i don't know if i'm a good fit for you guys or not but i'm interested in buying something here you know obviously we can wait till spring but i'm trying to set up a project before uh before christmas so we can start after the new year when you say project what do you mean by that i'm i'm an investor so either something i could buy to start as a rental or something that i can hold long term or owner finance or fix up and flip or something like that what 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 do you think uh what do you think you guys want for the property if you were to sell it we, we talked to a couple different realtors and it's it's in the, the low threes okay right now it's a five bedroom nice um, i shouldn't say five it's four bedroom we've got the fifth one ready okay it needs to be finished off um and that's pretty much it but, i mean it's a great location if you've researched it you know exactly where it is and um four bathrooms you know it, 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 it's a nice solid house it was a parade home 
Yeah, yeah. It's over. It's over by Walma and Forty Fourth Street, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Yeah. Right so. Off of, right off of Walma. Right off of Forty Fourth. Yeah, Forty Fourth. We're up all the way at the very end of the sub. Okay. Back here, it's really quiet. So, yeah, that's it. But we're looking in that you know, mid, low to mid threes. Yep. And um, like um, we're retiring. We're leaving. Oh, that's cool. Are you yeah, going? Are you going to fun. Arizona too, or? No, I'm going home back to Florida. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Well, th- tell me about the property. Uh, other than the fact, other than the fact that it's a five bedroom, does it does it need any like if it, you were to say the roof, the basement, electrical, plumbing, and cosmetic, is it fully updated? Is it clean and taken care of? What's what's kind of it look like on the inside? Um, you got you got some cosmetic issues as far as carpeting, and we're intentionally not replacing the carpeting. Yep. we're going to wait. And then either sell it with a, an allowance for carpet, yep. or we just replace carpet. Gotcha. Um, there's new flooring in the kitchen, new flooring in the, the bathrooms all have new flooring. Um, we do have a um, two slide, patio sliders that are being replaced, but you know how that is right now. Yep, Good totally market. understand. Um, we're out. We're, they're paid for. It's just they won't be here till March. So we're picked um two custom patio doors and um, we have the third one was replaced and garage is in great shape. We had the uh, inspectors out here looking at the foundation, making sure that was all fine. And that passed inspection just fine. Roof is good. Um, new air conditioner. Um, Renai um, tankless water heater. Um, the furnace is in great shape. Appliances are all staying. Sounds like you guys have done a lot of work. Yeah, we, we just we just need to go. <laughs> we, we just need to go. It's, this is a house meant for somebody that has a family. Yeah. Um, and our family's gone now. So it's like, well, um, it, it, it's just a nice property. Yeah, it, it, It's solid. It's very well built. It has two fireplaces. Well, and it's um, in a quiet little neighborhood, too. Like, it's in a really good part of Kentwood. It is. Yeah, it is. It's a very low crime area right across the um, the hill behind us is the police station. Mm-hmm. Uh, fire station right there so it's a very it, it's nice and if you look up and down the street you'll see um three houses or four houses down, i guess it is um get an fbi agent and a probation officer police officers on this street um i mean it, in this house right here a marine so you've got a lot of law enforcement and safety in this area um very stable that's very, awesome very stable neighborhood that's and, that's uh, awesome i love yeah, that so let me ask you a question, and and I don't I don't know what the answer is, and I don't want to take up too much of your time because you know I'm I, like I said it it's, mm-hmm. it might not be a good fit if we don't mesh. That's totally cool. If if I could pay in the low three hundreds, okay, if I could come up and pay that, um, would you guys willing be willing to like owner finance it to me or no? No, we need the money to buy our business. Okay, so you're gonna take that. Okay, that's that's kind of what I figured based yeah, on your story, but I wanted to ask. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, it's totally, totally fine. I just wanted to ask to see if it'd be a good fit. You know, not everyone is, and that's totally okay. So, yeah. you know, it sounds like I'm, I'm probably not your buyer, um, on this, and it sounds like you guys got a plan that, that you're going off and, uh, and going to Florida and going to list it, and you've done a, a great deal of work, um, and like you're working with an agent and everything. You know, one of the things nope, to. Not but but still, we're not working with the agent yet because we haven't listed. But yeah, we just had him come through and do the assessment. To go, okay, you need to um, replace all the blinds and you know those sorts of things that are very cosmetic. And then other things we've purchased them, and we're not going to put them up until it's time to go. Right? Yeah, I understand that <laughs> to totally. Make, to make sure you know nothing breaks or no brains <laughs> come by and rip down a car, you know, a curtain or something like that, which. You know, he's 14 now. I don't think he's going to break anything anymore. But, um, you know, it, the, the deck is painted. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to touch up the paint in the spring. But, but, yeah, it sounds like we're not the right fit for each other. But um, it's encouraging to know you're looking at this neighborhood because this is a nice area. It's yeah. a really nice place. Yeah, I uh, I, I think I, I right there around 40, 48th. And it's funny how there's just little pockets around that are, you know, that are nicer than others and ones mm-hmm. that we're – we really want to freshen up the neighborhoods and just like you said, bring families in and, and do that kind of thing and just really involve. So and, if, and that's, that's, the, that's the stability, you know, when you have that sort of a thing, it does keep the neighborhood stable. And yeah. there's not a lot of turnover in this neighborhood. If you look at the comps and look at the 
sales in this area. Um, I only see two in the last year. Yeah, that's it. And this, I've been in this house since 96. Okay. And, you know, most of the people in this neighborhood, like our next door neighbor, he, he passed. So okay. they obviously they had to sell the house. Yeah. And then the people across the street got transferred. So other than that, people, they stay. It's a nice place. The schools are good here. This is a good elementary school. And then you can walk to the middle school. I love so that. It's, it's a nice little place. Too. So, yeah. well, anyway, I so, yeah, I got one I'm more, I got one more question out, for you. I got one more question oh, for you, and that. then I'll uh, I'll let you go. If we were to buy cash, right? If we were to buy cash, do a straight mm-hmm. deal, you could avoid the realtor fees, you know, because on a three hundred thousand dollar purchase, we're talking all the fees and everything combined are going to be around twenty five thirty grand, right? Yeah, twenty five grand is what I budgeted for. Yeah. Cool. So, like, what what would you sell cash if we could come in and close? And obviously, you've got a time rate, a time frame, and you guys are waiting until spring yeah. and stuff, but. What would you guys take? Uh, basically, what we would list minus the twenty five thousand. Okay. Basically, what we would, would knock that in there for. Okay, and what were you guys so gonna? You would that be list, like right at three hundred? Yeah, you figure the list on this was three forty nine, okay. which is what you know, um, uh, four star was saying. You're looking at three twenty or three what three twenty four? Okay. That's it. Yeah, three twenty four. I didn't do my math. <laughs> no, that's fine. Totally understand. I just wanted to ask because if it coffee yet. don't make me do math. Hey, no, you know what? I want to know what the square root of pi is. So, I don't know if you know what that is, the but I don't. Square root of pi? Yeah, I don't know what that is. The square root of pi? Yeah. I think it's apple or cherry. Long there time. you go. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that. So, um, yeah, yeah, I was just. You know, I was a math. I was a finance math major, so go figure. I should know that. There you go. There you go. That's awesome. So, yeah, I would, I wanted to ask just because if, if you were in the high 200s, which it doesn't sound like you are, you know, we might be able to talk a little bit, but um, that's probably yeah, about where think, I'm at. I don't think so. Not with everything we have in it. Um, like if we hadn't just ordered those windows and if we hadn't just replaced blinds, I'd be like, yeah, let's look at 290, you know, but I mean, windows in this house, you know how much those are, yep. $6,000 each. Yep. And we replaced three of the windows and just all the other things that go along with it. And obviously in a cash offer, you would, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about the, the allowance for the carpeting, which, you know, the realtor said do between two and 3,000 on the, on the flooring. Mm-hmm. Um, and the majority of the house is already finished like we're working on the fifth bedroom right now all i have to do in in there right now is finish the drywall and put in the flooring okay everything electrical's in closets are in it's us all ready to go and we could have left that alone but i think this house can support five bedrooms very easily and still have more storage space because it was well designed okay and four bathrooms is a beautiful thing to have except when you clean them (laughs) (laughs) isn't that the truth i live in a i live in a fairly large house as well i live in a four thousand square foot house and i totally understand that when it comes time to cleaning it's like oh man it's uh oh my god go through it all so and i got four kids under four so we had um he he had three i had three kids so we had six kids and you know each kid playing their own room and their own bathroom well they're all gone now and mom is cleaning (laughs) and 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 mom is mom's sick of it mom just wants to move home i just want to go back to florida and and i don't not a big fan of winter and yeah not a big fan of winter (laughs) hey well it came early this year so i'm sure you're kicking yourself you're like man we should have moved last spring well do you know anybody else yeah do you know anybody else who's looking to sell or anything like that um you know, I really don't. Our our friend group's pretty st- pretty. St- I mean, I got a girlfriend down in Caledonia that would love to dump her house, but I wouldn't do that to an enemy. <laughs> a friend. Okay. You feel me on that? Like yes. this house is just, you know, I don't know. If you've seen Money Pit, you oh. could flip that house and and you're gonna lose money on it. It's really ridiculous. And she thought she, oh yeah, she bought it. She paid too much. She thought she could fix this and fix that. And I'm like, you've got walls leaning. Oh. You, you have a foundation that's cracked and crumbled. No, you're, you, mm-mm. so no, again, I wouldn't recommend that because then right. <laughs> my reputation for the shitter on right. that one. Right. I mean, and that would be a house that, that would be a house that you'd have to walk in. And, you know, I think she paid 180 for it. This is a house you'd walk in and pay 75 for. 
okay. and then try to, to redo everything. No, I'm not going to do that to you. Okay. Too much work. Yeah. But other than that, we're all, we're all good. We're all stable. And, um, you know, a lot of us are moving into condos and already have done that. And us, we're just buying a home. I understand. Buying, actually buying my sister's house down in Florida too. All right. Very good. I appreciate you. Yeah, time. Shannon. I, thank you so much. I, I do. I hope you, uh, I hope you and your family have a great Christmas for your last one in Michigan. And then you enjoy Florida after that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I appreciate. We're going to Florida for Christmas. So oh, there you go. All right. Well, go <laughs> enjoy. Go enjoy the water. <laughs> oh yeah, you bet. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Yep. Bye bye. Oh, All right. So we're gonna do not interested. So on something like that, people have different philosophies, right? Just get off the phone and be done, right? They're not exactly what it is. I one, I like talking to people, and two. Um, you could open it up. You know, she talked about her friend there at the end, um, having the house. I'd be interested in talking to it, but you know, to, to stop her and, and do that, it doesn't sound like it would, it would work out. I probably could have dug a little bit deeper there. Um, we had a follow up, do a follow up template here. Not interested start. Um, but she, um, they would done a lot of work, right? They've done a lot of work, something like that. Um, she's about right. It'll, it, you know, with all the work I saw, there was a, a 375 sale um, when I was looking at it. She's planning on listing it for 349. If we could have picked it up, um, I'm in attempted. Um, we could have picked it up for 349. That'd be awesome. But, or excuse me. That's what she's listening for. If we could pick it up for like in the 280s, 270s, we could probably do something with with it, with it being fully renovated. But um, there's my, not much there to do. So let me look over because there was a ton of comments. Um, do I essentially say yes? I answered that. How do you follow? How do follow ups remember me? I want to stick out. Um, Ken, I would just say have a really good conversation and say your name multiple times. Hey, my name is Ronald Walker. Um, I'll not everyone's going to remember you. That's just, it just is what it is, right? Like not everyone's going to remember you. Uh, but sorry, I was reading another comment. Um, but one of the things you can do is slow down, ask questions, be confident, right? A lot of people who are calling are just following a script. Hey, is this so-and-so blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. You know, we know the area. That sounds good. You know, why are you looking to sell, right? If you're doing that, you're doing the same thing that everybody else is doing. I'm just being straight up. Like, no one's going to remember that. They're going to be like, dude, get off the phone, right? But if you if you hit the point, most people are scared to talk about price. They're scared for what people are. So hit the point. Hey, this is why I'm calling. I'm calling you because I'm interested in your property. Okay, cool. Do you want to sell it? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, cool. What do you want for it? Well, I want blank. Okay, Tell me about it. See how I asked a few questions before I did the open up question. I didn't just say, hey, this is Ronald Walker. Tell me about your property. Why are you selling? And they're like, dude, get get away from me. It's like, yo, I'm in. Do you want to sell? Yes. Okay, cool. Do, do what price do you want? Well, I want 150. Okay, cool. Are you flexible? No. Okay, cool. Tell me about the house. And then they open up and they start sharing. And then you're in a spot where you're just like asking questions, taking notes, whatever. Cause I got my pad right here, right? Like I'm taking notes. Um, and you dig in, that's going to cause you to be more memorable where when you call them back, they're going to answer. The other thing I like to do is I like to straight up, Ken, I like to tell people, yo, I don't want to hound you. I don't want to call you 15 times. You hate that. I hate that. Right. I feel like a, I feel terrible. I don't like that. I personally don't like following up with people a thousand times. Um, different people have different thoughts on that. I don't like doing it. So I tell people, look, I don't want to do this. Just tell me when people say, I want to think about it. It usually means you want me off the phone. You're never going to answer my call, my call again. I don't want to be put in a position like that. If you don't want it, just tell me no. And they're like, yo, this guy, this guy's like, just telling me exactly what he wants. So get used to that. Get used to communicating what you want. Dude, I don't want to call you five times. I want to know if you want to do this or not. Do you? Well, I want to do it in the spring. Okay, should I call you in the spring? Yes. All right, I'll do that. Should I do blank? Okay, yes, do blank. Um, and just be very, you got to get confident to ask for what you want. 
yo, I want to buy a property before Christmas. Are you ready? Wow, dude, you're calling around. Everybody want it, but you're the first guy. That's what that last dude just told me, right? It's like, okay, well, do you want to sell or do you not? I'm not going to call you 17 times. Yeah, like, can I? Can we touch base tomorrow? Yes. Do you want to sell? Yeah, I do want to sell. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, and just cutting through the noise. That's the key, bro. That's the key. Um, let's do this. I'm wasting. I'm wasting my call time on uh, on on ranting. By the way, guys, I have two contracts out at the moment that I'm waiting on signing. Um, we did get one contract uh, on Wednesday. Um, we did not get any contracts yesterday. Um, we got a contract on, did we get a contract on Tuesday? No, we got a contract on Monday. Hello. Hey, is this Mary? Yes. Hey, Mary, this is Ronald Walker. I was calling about your property on Vincent Drive in Muskegon. Did that catch you at a good time? Pardon me. I'm I'm calling about your property on Vincent Drive in Muskegon. Oh. Okay. Do you? Do, uh, my name's Ronald Walker. Do you want to sell that property or no? No, thank you. No, you don't want to sell it. You haven't been thinking about it. No. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time. You have a Merry Christmas. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. Let's. Not interested. Um, sorry guys, not the, not the greatest at multitasking. So you're just going to have to put up with me starting a follow-up sequence. Um, talked about it before, but the not interested follow-up sequence is, guys, it's killer. So it is really, really, really good. So I highly recommend starting a follow-up sequence. Um, jump into the next one. Any other questions? Let me see if there's any other questions I can answer here. Um, yeah, bro, check out the book. It's really good. It's really good on negotiation. Um, Cooper... Let me go to the other side to see if there's any more comments. Um, I'm supposed to call that other seller. I got some stuff here. Hey, have an owner who's open. No need buying at seven. Hello, this is Dan Hoekstra. Hey, James, this is Ronald Walker. How are you doing this morning? Fine. I was calling. I was calling for a Daniel. Is that like your That's brother me. or? No, oh, that's me. Oh, that's you. Okay, cool. You go by James. I was calling about your property on Union and in, in uh, Grand Rapids. Yes. Do you want to sell that property or no? No, we're not going to. You're not going to. Okay, cool. Would there be would there be right. any world in which you would or no? Uh, I'm just waiting for my wife to say yes. Hey, <laughs> I no. understand that. She, uh, my wife is the boss okay. too, so I get it. All right, man. Have a merry yeah. Christmas. You too. Bye bye. All right, so let's come in here. Daniel Hoekstra, not interested, and follow up templates. I was going to see if there's any more any more questions, guys. I was going to jump over to this other page, see if there's any more that you guys have. Um, cool. You know, it's so funny about doing calls like this. And this is why it's so important to be consistent is, dude, like the other day we did it. I don't remember what day it was. I think it was last Thursday. I had like. Good morning. Good morning. Is this Cheryl? Yes, it is. Hey, Cheryl. This is Ronald Walker. Yeah. I was calling about your property and stadium in Kalamazoo. Uh-huh. Um, I was just curious if you guys wanted to sell that property. I know it's a little bit, uh, it's like a half a million dollar property itself, but uh, have you guys been thinking about it? Well, we have it on, there's a sign out front. Oh, is so there? I guess that, yeah. Is it on the market or no? Do you have a real estate agent? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's on the market. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the stuff, especially in that price print, I'm I'm calling looking to buy stuff off market, you know, to kind of get a discount and cut out the realtor because in something like that, your your fees are pretty high. 
Um, mm -hmm. So I'm probably not the buyer for you on, on that, but I hope you guys, uh, good luck on it. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day, Cheryl. Bye. All right. So that's a not interesting. I don't that was already moved and not interested. I don't know why that was in my in my calls. Um I don't remember what I was saying. How's everyone doing? We'll just keep uh keep going and keep calling. Um Hello. Hey, is this Brandon? Yes. Hey, Brandon, this is Ronald Walker. I was calling about your property on Rio Road in Lansing. Yes. Are you wanting to sell that property or I no? Too. Which one? The one on, uh, the, well, if you have two, I'd be interested in both, but the one I'm looking at is 2401. Uh, not at this moment. No. Would you, do you want to sell the other one? Yes. What does that look like? What do you want for it? Uh, Did I catch you at a bad time, man? It sounds like I might have caught you at a bad time. No, no, I've got you on AirPods. So I'm just sitting here, I'm just trying to think. Oh, okay, no worries. It's a uh, it's a one bedroom house, one bed, one bath, and the downside for you is that it's been fully rehabbed. Okay. Um. The upside, I mean, as a rental, I was pulling in six fifty a month from it, and within three years, pretty much doubled what I put into it, or That's paid cool. off what I put into it. Um, I would like to get thirty six out of it right now. It. Well, I have it listed through a realtor, okay. and we have it listed at 49, and tons of people have shown interest, but I'm kind of in need for the cash. Right. So right. that's what it's like. I just want to get rid of it any way, shape, or form I can. Okay. Um. And it's, I, and it's I rented for six fifty. Yes, I had it listed for sixty. We had a few bites. We listed it for fifty, and my phone's been blowing up. The biggest people problem people are finding is financing, um, and I know wouldn't be a problem if I landed it around tax season, right? Just because. You know, it's just, I need the money now so that way I can uh, put a down payment on a house I'm building. Okay. Or so you're kind, of, you're kind of on a, on a time frame. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's the, what's the actual address on that one? 1731. One Rio. And it's been it's been full. Does it have a basement or is it uh, is it a slab? Crawl space. It's a crawl space. Okay. And roof, electrical, plumbing, basement. How's all that stuff look? To be honest, um, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy interested in a one one bedroom, but I'm open to it. Just that's why I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I fully understand. And if you're in a position that you want to rental, it's perfect rental. If okay. you're in a position you want to flip, you'd have to add another room. Yeah. Just kind of thing. Right, right. Because um, right. I understand the investment aspect. Right. I The roof was replaced 2016. Water heater was replaced 2016. Uh, 
bathroom, all of the plumbing and everything was redone. 2017, the whole bathroom was updated. The kitchen was, um, I mean, it still has the copper pipes going to it, but aside from that, that's about the only original portion that mm-hmm. in the floor because I had redone the uh, ceiling and with new drywall, yep. all new cabinets, new, yep. f- new flooring over the top of the original. Okay. Um, the living room has all new, well, new carpet in 2017, and it's got a uh, fireplace, which is the only source of heat for the house. Okay. Nice. Um, okay. So, you know, I'm looking at it. I've, so I've bought in one, one bedroom before in Allegan. Um, I bought it actually, I bought two houses next door to each other. One was a one bedroom. The other one was a two, one. Sorry. My kid's in the background crying. Um, oh yeah, you're good. Uh, so the, um, so I have bought in a one bedroom before. I'm just, I'm not super, you know, super, uh, I mean, it's 36, the least you go, obviously you got it listed for 49 and you have that. What's your timetable look like? Like what's that timetable look like if I was to pick it up from you? Uh, well, for the build contract, I have roughly 45 days. Okay. From today or from a different time? Yeah, from today. I'm just guesstimating. Um, I can give you exacts, but yeah, that's fine. I don't, it's, I mean, I could write it down on my schedule and, and see, but that doesn't do me any good. Um, let's see. So, 45 days, 30. I mean, it's 36. And I'm not. I'm so not saying I'm trying, like, Friday, is that the best actually, you could do? So it's it's only been a week, but I have 60 days to um begin like basically get the down payment for it or how much is the down he's payment pull the bit uh roughly about thirty six thousand okay that's what I figured um because mm-hmm. I was thinking you know to from a cash on cash perspective as a hold so I do a lot of owner financing. I buy and sell on owner financing. Yeah. And so I was thinking, you know, if it was a little bit less than that, or if you came up, you know, maybe I could keep cash on cash lower and, you know, well, I could buy um, and do a down payment and finance the rest from you or something like that. But it doesn't, it doesn't seem like that'll work I, with your situation. I, I have an option and this is entirely up to you. If you want to play the ball, I have a guy who's, Willing to put twenty thousand down. Okay. Um. But and do it on land contract. Okay. I can give you all of it. Well, the name off Facebook, and I can reach out to him and get his phone number. Kind of help set everything up. Right. The, obviously, because of the number, it doesn't work for me. Right. But um. The total amount so essentially you out of your personal pocket you'd be coming out 16,000 and you'd gain the remaining amount for the land contract deal right my guess is he would yeah my guess is he'd probably jump up that price to like 60k though right Uh, would I? No, him. Like if he's or, buying it from you, and I'm coming to give you the money, you right? Like if we're working out some type of creative deal, let's just put it that way. And it comes at like what? It, the purchase price is going to jump up. It's not going to be. And my payment to him, he's probably going to want a real high interest rate too. Well, I was thinking more in this aspect. This way, you're actually ending up on the benefit side where you're not making a payment to him. He's making payments to you. Oh, I see if what you're saying. He, if he gives you the 20000 
for the down payment on yep. the house. Yep. You can set your price at whatever. And he said, he'd said paid off in five years. Gotcha. Payments negotiated plus interest. So that way you're, you're only coming out 16,000 up front. Yeah. No, and I'm, you I'm, get, I'm totally, uh, totally familiar with that. I, I, the, I'm, I'm open. I'm open to something like that. I don't know who the guy is or whatever, but like that's rather than me buying this to hold it, that would probably be my exit strategy. No matter what, that's what buying it and then turning around and selling it, you know, land contract or owner financing, getting a down payment, you know, 20%, 25% down payment on whatever sold with a, with an owner financing. Let me do this. I'm I'm not a hundred percent on that. You know, if it, if it was a two bedroom, obviously you you know we'd be in you'd be in a different scenario too. Um, yeah, I was gonna say one more bedroom to that place, and if there was a way, I would have put another bedroom in there. Right. Simply for that reason, but the way it's laid out, I mean, yeah, I could have if I was to completely alter the floor plan and. I don't have, I didn't, when I purchased the house, I purchased it as a rental for my grandma in law. Mm -hmm. Well, long story short, divorce happened. Um, Grandma in law moved closer to actual family because I'm not really family. And her granddaughter moved away. Okay. So now, now it's like, I've got this house that I purchased solely for her with the intent that I was keeping it for 20 years. And now I'm stuck with it. Okay. That makes sense. You kind of, you kind of got a lot left with the ball. So, so let me, let me do this. I, if it was, if it was in Kalamazoo, I'd tell you yes. (laughs) Or if it was in Grand Rapids, I'd tell you yes. Um, with it being out there, let me, uh, let me talk to my partner and, um, and see if, uh, if I'm willing to do that, I'm leaning towards probably, probably a no go, but let me talk to him and I can just give you a call back and let you know one way or another. No, that's fine. Like I said, I'm, I have other things in the works with people trying to get the financing for it. Yep. I, I'm in. Uh, I got a short window here, and I want to get this gone, yeah. so that way I can progress with the rest of my life. <laughs> right, right. You can get it out from under you. Okay. All right, my man. Well, hey, I'm Ronald Walker again, um, or Ron, Ron Walker. You're Brandon, right? Yes. All right, Brandon. Um, yeah, I'll take a look at it. I'm gonna make a note here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna float it by my partner. And kind of see see what we think if it's something we want to put in the portfolio. Um, unfortunately, I'm leaning probably towards no on the deal. Um, I'm just telling you straight up. I hope that's okay. Um, yeah, I'd well, rather uh, be honest and false hope. <laughs> right. Um, but if it if it is something, I'll just give you a call back and uh, and let you know. Hey, you know we can do it or whatever. But um, yeah, I'll let, I'll let you know. But otherwise, just keep. Uh, Keep plugging away. I hope you hit that uh, that time frame for that build, bro. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Take it easy. Yep. Bye. Bye. So that one, I don't know who's who's all watching, but that one is a really interesting property. Um, so that one's a one bedroom, one bath. I have done one, a one bedroom, one bath in the past. Um uh, I have done a one bedroom, one bathroom in the past. It, um, they're not my favorite. They're harder to resell. Um, it can rent. He said it's renting for six fifty, So, you know, that's good. He wants 36,000 for it. The comps, the closest one I saw was the closest one I saw was a, uh, $25,000 sale. So, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't really make sense. Right. Um, it could, I mean, he's listed it for 49. I could get it for a discount off of what the listing price is. So I feel pretty good about that, but 
unless I want to hold a one bedroom and I don't really want to hold a one bedroom and, uh, and wholesaling, that's going to be quite difficult. So it's not very often that you run into a deal that you just don't want to do, but it, it would have to be crazy cheap for us to want to, uh, to wholesale that deal. So I'm going to, I'm unfortunately going to, going to say no on that deal from what it's looking at. I'll, uh, I'll throw out a price to them, but that's kind of, that's kind of what that looks like. So I put that in the follow-up, just, uh, the notes in there, but that one's probably a no go. How's everyone else doing? I hope everyone's doing well. We haven't had any great calls today yet, man. I wish we'd had some, uh, some better calls. Let's see. I got the the dialer going some more, so we'll see how it goes. Sometimes sometimes you hit, and sometimes it's just not uh, not nearly as good. So let me let me look at Podio. See if there's any. See if I had any new leads from the cold callers coming this morning. Um, no, my hello. Uh, hi, this is uh, is is Ted available? Who? Ted. Oh, I think you might have dialed the wrong number. I am sorry about that. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is actually not, this lead got put in here incorrectly. I can even, the way it's put in here, it's something in Indianapolis and the, it's a weird email address. So let me remove this. Um, Not interested. Cool. And we'll, you know what? I'm going to actually, I'm going to close this and let's pick up a different campaign because this one, let's shake things up again. I'm going to go to people who are, we were, that are warm and let's see if we can get some better, uh, See if we can get some better luck with some phone calls, guys. I've made a whole bunch of phone calls this morning, but just not really any great conversations. Um, I want some better ones. I want some better conversations. It's been about an hour and a half. Hello. Hey, is this Robert? Yeah. Robert, this is Ronald Walker. I was calling about your property on Park in Grand Rapids. How you doing, man? My property on North Park? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to sell that or no? no well, price is right, probably. But What's the right price? About three hundred fifty thousand. What's it worth? Right, fifty. <laughs> <There's that there. laughs> Good answer, yeah, bro. Good I've answer. been here. I've been here for forty years. Okay. It's a you, too big gas, old gas station. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Do you live there, or is it like an investment no. property? No, it's my business. So. Oh, okay. What uh, you said? North it's a Park, gas station. North Park Auto Repair. It's it's North Park Auto Repair. Okay. So. Well, I'm I'm not actually really interested in uh, in a commercial business. I'm more interested in a house. Well, this ain't a house, so. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, it doesn't uh, doesn't fit. Are you looking to like retire or get out of it, or? Uh, if somebody wanted to pay that, I probably would. That's cool, man. <laughs> Well, hey, that's yeah. that's not uh, unfortunately that's not my uh, my neck of the woods. I wish I was the right guy for you, but I'm probably not. Yeah, if one comes along, fine. If not, I'll just keep coming to work. There you go. There guess, you go. That's I the guess, way to look I really at it. Many, I really got too many women at home to retire. So <laughs> there, there you go. You don't yeah, know don't if you want to be back, be back at home with them all, or be out uh, be out working. You know, it's a catch twenty two. Well, yeah, this is my man cave, actually. There you go. I like it. I like it. And after 40 years, I don't have to advertise. There's more work than I know what to do with. So, hey, man, that's yeah. uh, it sounds it sounds like a, a good thing. You don't want to end a good thing while you got it. Keeps, keeps me in tra- out of trouble. So. I like it. All right. Well, All right. Robert, I appreciate it. I'm uh, unfortunately, that's not really what I'm looking for. All right. All good right. Enough. Take it easy. Yep. Bye. A commercial business, auto repair shop. That's not really what we're looking for. Um, I don't know what I'd do with an auto repair shop. Own that. Although, I will tell you guys this. Everybody who's in Grand Rapids, heck, even if you're outside of Grand Rapids, um, I would buy a blueberry farm. So if you know a blueberry farm, I don't even have to talk to the seller direct. If you guys know a blueberry farm that's for sale, 
and do something like that, I would be totally, totally interested in buying a blueberry farm. That would be so freaking cool. So just FYI, if you know anything like that or an apple orchard, I'd be, dude, if you get me an apple orchard or a blueberry farm or something like that, we'll be, we'll be new best friends. So anybody who's watching blueberry farm, apple orchard, any of that, just, uh, just let me know. Cause that'd be super sweet. All right. Hopefully. Hello. Yeah. Is Richard available? Yeah. Hang on one second. Yep. Um, can you tell him who's calling? This is Ron letter. This is actually Ronald Walker. I was calling about a property on Brook Metal. If this okay. isn't a good time, I understand. No, I, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Ronald Walker or Ron Walker. Okay. You know what? Can I have him call you back? He's on a ladder taking a seat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like Ron I said, Walker. if it's not a good time. Yeah, it's about. I was calling about a property on Brook Metal. Just have him call me back. Oh, I, I can help you with that. Do you guys want to sell it or no? You know what? We, I'm, uh, I don't think so. I have a tenant in there okay. that she's been there two years and she said I got three more years to go and then she's moving. So right now I don't think so. Okay. So you guys are just going to hold on to it while the tenant's there? Yeah, I think so. He's on a ladder though. So okay. let me, um, we'll talk about it. Are you, are you a realtor? No, I'm not. I'm not a realtor. I'm actually i I'm a local investor. So it'd be something that I'd buy okay. either to hold or buy to fix up and sell. So if there's a tenant and they're renting, I'm open to something like that, you know, just depending on, you know, the terms and, and what's going on, but okay, think about it. I, Give I'm, me a, call I'm back. a realtor and I only ever do month to month okay. <laughs> um, rentals, but she's an excellent tenant. Okay. Okay. Excellent tenant. Would um, she, if she's going to be there for three yeah. years, is it just a temporary thing or would she be open to uh, like she on her finances? She has two daughters. She has two daughters. And she said, as soon as my youngest graduates from high school, I'm moving to Texas. Okay. That's actually where I came she, from. I moved December. up here from Texas. <laughs> she's been there. This is December. She's been there two years this month. Okay. Yeah. So three more years. Yeah. Yeah, she's okay. an excellent tenant. Okay. Um, but you know what? We'll talk about it. Um, and, um, you know, maybe we'll decide to cut bait. And yeah, I talk about it. Give me a call back. Um, yeah, give it, just send me a text. Send me a text. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Okay. I don't I don't want to call you and hound you a bunch. So um, if oh, you guys, right. yeah, if you guys mm -hmm. want to sell, I'm totally open to exploring that. If you guys don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ron. Um, we'll talk about, like I said, he's on a ladder ticket. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. You guys have a good one. Merry Christmas. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah, All right. So that's actually a pretty good area. Please leave your message for 616-889-8835. Hey, Frank. This is Ronald Walker. I was calling about your property on Main Street in Lowell. Uh, if you have a minute, give me a call back. I'd be interested in buying that property if you want to sell. Uh, you can reach me here at this number. Thanks. Man, we have not had a ton of a ton of deals today, guys. Today's just one of those days. That's what happens as you're plugging through. You know, that's one Hello. of the reasons. Hey, is this Frank? Yeah. Hey, Frank, this is Ronald Walker. I was calling about your house on Dyke House. Yeah. You want to sell that property or no? I'd be interested in buying it. Uh, what's the name of your company? Uh, well, I'm just a local investor, bro. So, I mean, I got oh, an okay. LLC, I've but had, I'm not a big I've company. A I'm just of, a local guy. I've had a number of people look at it. but Okay. Yeah, I was looking for around uh, 190. 190 for it? Yeah. Are you flexible on that or no? Is that just like a hard price? Well, a little bit, but not, not a whole lot. Okay. Tell me about it. Is it, I know it's in Grand Haven, and it uh, looks like it's a three-bedroom, one-bath. Tell me about the, the details of it. Well, my daughter and her son live there right now, and they've lived in it since I bought it, uh, you know, like 28 years ago or so. I put in a new kitchen, uh, new windows, uh, a driveway, uh, a garage, yep. siding stuff like that but, but it's just a basic house it's it's uh 
you know, the bedrooms are not real big. The closets are small. Okay. And there's a bedroom upstairs that has a closet. Okay. But, uh, that's, you know, it has a nice AC yard and things. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you've taken really good care of it. Well, I had, as an absentee, I live in Florida, so. Oh, nice. I'm not there all the time. Okay. Well, well, first off, I just want to let you know, like I'm, I'm an investor. I don't buy everything. Okay. So I'm willing to tell, you no know, if, it, if it's not a good fit for me. Um, and I hope you're willing to just tell me the same thing, right? Like, I don't want to hound you and, and, and keep calling. Like, are right. you okay telling me, Hey, right. this is not going to be a good fit. Right. Cool. So, so what, what's the plan? I mean, obviously you'd sell it for one ninety, is what you said. Your daughter and your son are living there. Um, like, what's the plan moving forward? Like, catch me up to speed on your whole thought process, the transition. What does that look like if we were to really do this deal? Well, we were going to buy another house because uh, my grandson owns a house, too, uh, over, I forget the name of it, uh, Lakeshore. I think it's called Lakeshore. Yep. Just just outside the uh, city limits there. So he's got a house there that he rents out. So we thought we might sell both houses and buy something better. Okay. Basically for him to live in. Well, they would, they would all live there. Okay. I mean, okay. My grandson and, and my daughter. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So basically just cash out on those houses, buy another one and then move into that other house. Right. right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And what kind of time frame were they looking to do that on? Is that like in the next three months? Is that soon? Is that later? Like, what's that look like? Well, we were hoping to do it sooner, uh, but there's no real exact timeline because uh, he'd have to sell his and uh, we'd have to sell this one. And so, you know, it's probably within a couple months. Okay. Okay. Within a couple months. So, so I'm, <clears throat> I'm looking at the area right now. Okay. So I'm just kind of looking at what's around and, and what's happening. So yours is a three bedroom, one bath. Is that correct? Right. One bedroom's upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. So I'm looking at it. I know you said 190, like the sales that I'm seeing just kind of depending on what it are anywhere from, you know, 140 to 205. Okay, is kind of what I'm seeing well, right I know, there. I know the simple. house next door sold for two hundred five. Two hundred five. When did that sell? Because I am not seeing that on here. That was about three months ago or so. I don't know the address, but it's right to the left of my house. Okay. So, and how and would you? Smaller it has no ba <laughs> has no basement, and it's. Uh, I don't know if it has three small bedrooms or two small bedrooms, but. Uh, you know, it doesn't have the square footage as mine, but it did sell for two hundred five. Okay. Was yours? Because they, I actually did find it. I just found it. It did sell for two hundred five. They came in and put probably, I don't know, a good chunk of work in that in that property. Has yours been fully re you like renovated in the last two years or so, or no? No, it hasn't. Just those things that I mentioned that I did over the over the years. Okay. Yeah, it looks uh, like new, new kitchen cabinets, uh, you know, uh, new windows uh, uh, that never had a garage, never had a driveway and stuff like that, that I did. The siding is, well, I was put on about 10, 15 years ago. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. So yeah, that, that, um, you know, I, is that definitely sold for 205. They put quite a bit of work in that property from and and recently, like they they updated that property pretty good. Um, I don't know kind of where yours is at in it, but you know, as an investor, if I was able to come up to one ninety, I know you guys said you were thinking about transition. I mean, would you be open to to owner financing it to me if I bought it for one ninety or no? If I would finance it for you, yeah, if you would owner finance it to me. Probably not, because I need the money to to buy another one. That's what I thought. I didn't think uh, I didn't think you guys would. So, um, so you know, something like that, based on what it is, because you know, and and what's said and and the updating that that was needed. As an investor, I I would need the property for a little bit more of a discount than what you're asking. You know, um, especially with you know, if you were to put it up and sell it with a realtor and pay the realtor fees and and kind of do that in right. a, a straight deal. Right. I mean. There, there's no way you guys would be in the, 
<clears throat> the 140 to 160 range. Is there? No, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just want to ask. So I'm 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 looking around. The reason why I'm calling around is I'm trying to uh I'm 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 going to buy a property before Christmas. Let me put it that way. I'm gonna put one under contract and I'm calling oh. around to find one. So I'm a tiger in the woods. If I mean, you want I don't to put it have to, I don't have to sell it. I mean, uh, they can continue living there and uh, just go like they have for the last twenty some years. So right. I don't have to sell it. Right. So. All right, cool, man. Well, I think uh, I think that answers my question. You know, if uh, if if there was any other reason you would sell to an investor like me, can you think of one? Any other reason? Yeah. Is there, you know, if you were to sell to a guy like me at a, at a discount, why would you? Well, uh, unless it was the only choice I had. So, okay. And, you know, before I go very low, I would just say, you know, we'll just keep the house. You guys can live there. So. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense. So, all right. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. I hope you guys have a good Christmas and, and uh, enjoy Florida at this time. This is when the good weather starts. Right. <laughs> right. All right. Well, Frank, I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. So that's going to be I'm not interested. Any thoughts on that one, guys? That was a pretty, uh, you know, sometimes you just you can't pull out any motivation, right? They just want a price and you just uh, you just do it. So let me update this one. Although these are a little bit better conversations than my last source of leads. So let's see, not interested. Follow up template, not interested. Start. And kick on the dialer. It's 1030. All right, 1030. We've been going for about an hour and a half. How are we doing? I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know. I don't know what, what those are. So, any other thoughts, guys? What do you guys Hello. think? Hello? Hello. Hey, is this Amy? Yeah. Hey, Amy, this is Ronald Walker. I was calling about your property on Leslie Street in Lansing. How are you doing this morning? Right, right, right. Um, we ain't trying to sell it right now, honey. You do not want to sell, or you do? No, we don't. I got another house, 1213 Leslie Street. I need a lot of work. We, we, we want to sell that one. Okay, that's the one I was calling about, 1213 Leslie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys want to sell that one? Yeah, because it, it needs too much work and we ain't going in foreclosure. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. What, uh, how, mu how much do you want for it? Like, what's the price on it? Um, I really don't know. Um, last time I tried to mess around with it. I was going to get 20 grand and it didn't work out because it couldn't clear the house out. I don't even know what to say with the house is right this minute. Is there a mortgage or is it a tax? Is it a tax foreclosure? No, no. Tax or back taxes. Honey. How much back taxes is it? Do you know? No, I really don't know. I was just on the phone right now trying to clear it out. Okay. Okay. So you say it needs a lot of work. What does it need? And the new roof is leaking, and um, the basement, the, the, the air, it floods. Um, you got to use um, some kind of pump to keep the whole neighborhood kind of flood around the area. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So it's all flooding around the neighborhood. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, every year we got to put a little thing in there and get out a little basement basement floods okay um, yeah 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 you know it wasn't my house i've been babysitting it and i can't afford the taxes he was already behind and he won't be home for a while yeah and then i put put the house in my son's name okay and he helped me at all but anyway no, that makes See, sense. So the part of park area, you ought to know, put it up on line. Now the property, I don't know. I did. I actually pulled it up online right here. I was taking a look at it. So is the water coming through the ceiling? Like, so it needs a roof. 
the basement has problems. Does it have like cracks in the basement or what's going on there? Oh, I don't know. The basement got the problem because you got you got to sub you got to put a little pipe down there every year. To, I don't know because probably sometimes it floods, sometimes it don't. Okay. But I ain't been there in a couple of years or last year anyway. Gotcha. Because uh, it... the river, it was leaking. I tried to um, rig it a little bit. And then put a little um, thing on top, but the wind blows it off because I didn't do it right. Right, right. So I'm looking right. at it right now, and I don't see the tax. I don't see the tax amount. But based on what you're saying, it needs quite a bit of work, right? And it's over there by, you know, Malcolm X and that kind of area. Yeah, right over there by Potter's Park. You can even hear the lines were. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. And that's street at the den. Yeah. So something like that, with what you're saying, it looks like you tried to put uh, it up for sale on the market at 19000 Is that right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's when I was started babysitting it. Yeah. Okay. So something like that for us to come in and and potentially do, I don't even know if we could cover the tax, the tax amount because I can't find it. But, I mean, something like that, you know, for investors and that I'm working with, we'd probably be in well, that. Well, okay, well, I'm thinking, well, anyway, I'm thinking, it might be, if I, I hate that, I mean, I don't want to be right, but I think we probably about $10,000 back taxes. Okay. So, so you're you 10 do, grand in back taxes. You do the back taxes and then, then you take over I don't know if I could even get a grand out of it. Yeah, that's because that, that's what I was looking at. Is we're, we would probably have to, we'd probably have to buy it from you for between, you know, twenty five hundred and five thousand dollars, and that doesn't even cover that doesn't even cover anything. So you wouldn't make nothing, right? Yeah, just just well, with where it's at. I so <laughs> you'd have to bring money to the table. That's what I'm trying to get rid of it. Right. And that way you don't have to worry about it. Well, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I wish there was a another option. I'm sorry that's been causing you so many problems. But yeah, it would just from what I'm but looking yeah, at, it would anyway. it would have to be it'd have to be cheaper than that for us. Okay, well I don't know what what to tell you. That's um, all right. I could even get a thousand dollars of it. I couldn't even play with y'all because he's just going to end up taking it if I don't keep on paying these dues. Right. It's hard for me to pay the taxes off to keep them from taking it. Then the taxes go up and up and up and up. Right. They just keep going up. Yeah, so and there's more money, more money. Right. So, you know, just with if, if you owe 10 grand, it's going to be hard to make that happen. So I, I know a lot of the investors in Lansing as well, people who are buying. Well, so I, I understand, you know, uh, um, let me get you number. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I'm thinking it might be, I really don't know. Cause I'm just learning about properties mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. If I was to find another investor, and try to bring it to the table, would you be open to me trying to do that? Sure, I would. Why wouldn't I be? I think uh, I think that, that might be a, a good plan to see if there's people who are interested in. The problem is just uh, how much you owe on taxes. I think that just, it supersedes the value for the property okay, with well, the amount of work that it does. Okay, we a tax person and ask her. All right, you got a pen and paper? I got it right here with right my All right. So it's uh, the phone number is 616. 616, uh huh. 236. 236, yeah. 4387. 4387. Okay. 616 236 4387. Yep. Call the tax person. Ask them. I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to, I'm going to text message one of my guys here in a minute. I'm going to, uh -huh. I'm going to ask him if we can even help you with it. Okay. 
Okay. And uh, see, if if you do. yeah, what if we can, is? my name's Ron Walker. Ron. Okay. Yep. Ron. If we can, okay, I'll Ron. let you know. But with something like that, just let me know what the tax amount is. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just with the area and the price right point. Now, yeah, with the price point and, and everything, I don't know if that'll minutes, work. Okay. Okay, call me back. Thank you, sir. All right, Thank you. All right, so that one, as you guys were were listening, so that one's super cheap. I don't, I don't even know if there is a price we could all sell that one at, um, based on what she's saying. In um, in Michigan, there's certain areas in Lansing and Muskegon that are they're they're so depressed, right? They're like war zone areas that we picked up we picked up a house for 250 bucks and we wholesaled it for 2500 so that's just something you know unfortunately with taxes at 10 grand just not something we could do so um one of my guys actually reached out to me and wanted to grab lunch and uh so i think i'm gonna do that so i think i'm gonna end a little early we may pick up this afternoon to come back and, and get a little bit better leads. I also have the, I've got a whole spreadsheet of leads from a guy who wanted me to call them in San Antonio. I might jump on a little bit later and go through those and let him know because he wanted to listen too. So, um, so until then, guys, I hope, uh, I hope this is going well. Unfortunately, today was a bust. We didn't really talk to any good leads today. So, um, but that's part of it. You jump on, you keep going. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. So, um, until next time, peace.